Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Henry Wu. I'm the uh, Director of Anesthesia at the San Francisco Surgery Center. Uh, I'm going to talk about how to uh, do a beer block and uh, we'll show you uh, exactly how I'm doing it uh, in the, uh, the video. Uh, beer block is an uh, regional anesthesia um, which has been used for more than uh, 100 years. It widely used in the emergency department and the perioperative uh, surgical setting, settings. Our surgeons at the San Francisco Surgery Center still request uh, bill block for uh, uh, surgical procedures of upper extremity uh, below the elbow. Uh, it is the uh, very good anesthesia technique for short procedures uh, like uh, couple of time of release. All right, this is the um, bill block, uh, IV regional. Very important to put a double tourniquet. Uh, uh, tourniquet. Uh, you want to make sure it's uh, pretty tight. Uh, you only can put two fingers uh, inside and make sure you have. Another uh, way to, to make sure this is in good, you can inflate the tourniquet and feel the pulse. Uh, if the radial pulsation uh, disappeared, that means it's good. Okay, next we're gonna exangulate the blood. Uh, so I have a patient hold this uh, the green towel. So I'm going to ask my bandage to uh, squeeze the, uh, the hand. Another thing is I uh, put a, a, a 22 gauge IV with the little t uh, extension tubing. So this is the tubing for uh, injection the, uh, of the lidocaine, half percent lidocaine. Okay. A patient raised the hand up, so this hold, so naturally exactly the, the blood. Okay, and then the wrap around the uh, the asthma bandage. So start with the distal first, the hand, the fingers, and go down. It's so pretty tight. Sometimes a little uncomfortable. Yeah, this tight. Yeah. <laughs> so this is uh, also an important job make sure you do a good job exactly all this blood otherwise the, the blood is not going to be uh, that perfect okay let's uh, inflate the uh, distal this one? yeah and then proximal tourniquet okay then we unwrap the asthma bandage And then I we test, we feel the pulse. I don't feel the pulse, so it's good. Uh, so then we re release the distal tourniquet. B. Okay. There's still no pulse, that's good. Okay, now I'm gonna inject the half percent uh, lidocaine, preservative free. So when I inject, I generally squeeze the uh, the wrist to try to uh, make light again stay uh, distal. So you generally, if you put the tourniquet the upper arm, so you inject 50 cc of a half percent light again. Um, sometimes you, if you can, um, if you want to put a tourniquet uh, on patient's forearm, uh, you can inject less. Let's say if you put uh, the tourniquet at forearm, you can inject just 30 cc. Okay, now the injection is complete. I'm going to remove the uh, 
Okay, Ivy, do you have a idea? Four by four or two by two gauze, and then remove the IV. Uh, so now we have to. Okay. Yeah, pressure. Now the nurse can uh, scrub the hand to get ready for the surgery. Um, uh, generally, the tourniquet uh, patient tolerate about 20 30 minutes uh, after. 20, 30 minutes, they will become a discomfort. Uh, if that's the point, I will inflate the distal uh, tourniquet and then release the proximal tourniquet. So that will last another 30 minutes. So the total procedure probably lasts about okay, good for the one hour surgery. Uh, but for some reason, if a surgery is so fast, um, finish only like 10 minutes, then you still need to keep tourniquet about 20, 25 minutes. Then you can release tourniquet because you don't want to release all those uh, lidocaine flush into the body. Uh, okay. Yeah, I would like to emphasize uh, how to do uh, successfully do a build block. There's some keys to success. First, uh, patient selection. Uh, if patient uh, is a morbid or obese patient, uh, I wouldn't choose the uh, build block just because it's very difficult to place the uh, tourniquet on the patient's arm. Uh, I would probably choose other anesthesia. Another um, uh, uh, medical condition is a high hypertension. If patient come here with high blood pressure, let's say the patient's systolic blood pressure is 180, uh, I probably will choose other anesthesia technique just because um, you uh, the tourniquet may not complete the uh, occlude the uh, arterial, uh, so some blood may leak into the uh, um, the arm, the the hand, so it will dilute the uh, local anesthetic solution, and also the plasma protein will bind uh, binds the uh, uh, local anesthetic will further decrease the effect of the uh, uh, anesthesia effect. The second thing is the exangulation. When you do exangulation, uh, remove the blood from the, uh, the arm, um, you will need to do a good job. Uh, otherwise, the, if you have some residual blood in your blood vessel, the blood will combine up, uh, the um, will dilute the uh, local anesthetic solution and the plasma protein will bind to the uh, uh, local anesthetic uh, solution so will decrease the uh, effect of the uh, anesthesia there are also two uh, critical points i want to uh, emphasize uh, first is the to inflate the uh, tourniquet to 250 minicure uh, if patient blood pressure higher, you will uh, uh, will have uh, 100 mercury higher than the patient's systolic blood pressure. Like I uh, explained before, uh, so if a patient come in with the higher blood pressure, 160, 180, uh, I would choose another anesthesia instead of a bio block. Um, another point I would. Uh, point out is the, when the surgery is shorter than 20 minutes, let's say some surgeons really fast, uh, they finish quick, like 10 minutes, I wouldn't release the, uh, uh, the tourniquet. I probably will keep the tourniquet for at least 20 minutes and then uh, it can safely release uh, because of the uh, 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 local toxicity can happen if for, uh, from early uh, release, deflate the tourniquet. Okay, in summary, uh, beer block is the if, uh, very simple, uh, effective, uh, reliable uh, anesthesia technique when uh, uh, proper patients are selected. Thank you for watching.